you. Please. How are you all? We're trying to get used to all of this, I guess, <laughs> and to the weather. Oh, and the weather? Yeah, the weather is, uh, I don't know how to say, like, I, d I don't even know what to take on me, a shirt, a blouse, uh, a jacket, a raincoat, a tent, I don't know. <laughs> Victor, that is a beautiful blouse. Uh, thank you, man. <laughs> Just, I'm, I'm shy now. <laughs> like that. Love it, love it, love it. Have you had a wonderful morning with these guys? Yes, we had. Yes. Yeah? Have you seen some creepy and kooky sights? We usually do. We are creepy, so we're, we're used, used to, to this. it, you know. It's not <laughs> used to it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Well, a little bird tells me just before we go into your Q&A, and you'll notice that there are different microphones all set up, one, two, three, four, where we're going to give you guys the opportunity to open up the question pool to our cast of Wednesday. Yes, please feel free, line on up. But before we do that, little bird. You all right there, Emma? <laughs> you know that Mike Wazowski meme where he's like, behind himself and then in front of, that's what I feel like right now. <laughs> we love you, we love okay. you, we love you. Little bird tells me something. Somebody's birthday tomorrow. It's not just any birthday, it's Emma's 21st birthday. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, if you are able, can we please invite you to be upstanding? Get on up, get on up, get on up out of your chest. Please be upstanding. Just because as she's sitting here cringing right now, we've got something very special lined up for you, young lady. Now, on the count of three, I want you all to sing happy birthday in your nicest, beautiful, brightest, shining voices you possibly can. And there might be something stage left that appears just for you. Ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emma. Happy birthday to you. Three cheers, hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. And a massive round of applause! I don't know Happy if birthday, can honey. See the picture that's been put on here. Oh my gosh. Is that what you want me to take that off you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're not going to eat it? Wait, you want me to eat the whole thing like right here? Yeah. Right now, just pie face. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get me a fork. Well in, well in, well in. Oh, happy birthday, honey. Thank you. Hope you have an amazing day with us I all am, in, in Liverpool. Am. It's a pleasure that you, uh, that you have made the trip over all three of you to be a part of this with us. Now, I'm going to look out across our beautiful landscape. We've got loads of questions to get to. We are going to run this timer. We've got 45 beautiful minutes with you. Let's take it out. It's a question. Play space number one. Microphone one. Tell me your name and your question as beautiful and concisely as you possibly can. Uh, my name is Belle and my question is, who was the biggest prankster on set and what's the funniest thing they did? This is going to be good. Let's see. Um, Percy and Georgie stole a golf cart one time and got chased by the security on, on the set. <laughs> <laughs> I, we were taking pictures for media day. And it's me, Joy, and Naomi, like, having a nice time outside, getting our picture taken, and we hear, Stop! Come back! <laughs> we look down the road, and Percy and Georgie are sprinting, and then there's the security guard that, like, can't quite keep up with them. <laughs> and they had stolen a golf cart and got in trouble. Victor just went, that was good. <laughs> I, I, I know how the Romanian security forces are. They're like old people running after you. Shut up, please! <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't spend much time on set with Percy and Georgie, but one time, I I just saw this in an interview. Jenna told me that she was ordained to be a minister because I was engaged at the time. She told me she could perform the ceremony. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. And then I just saw a video on Twitter where she was lying. <laughs> like, And she never told me that. <laughs> How devastated would you be if she'd have gone through with the service? Like, well... <laughs> She, yeah, well, I didn't hire her, so. <laughs> you did a right job. Yeah. You did a right job, man. Well done for the question. Can we have a round of applause for all our questions that we accept from you guys today? <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to head over to two. Hi, two. 
Hi, my name is Kim. Uh, thank you all for doing the fighting pose earlier in my photo op, by the way. Uh, my question is for Emma. Uh, in light of Seventeen's comeback coming soon, how does it feel that they know who you are? <laughs> it's really weird. I mean, it's a strange feeling to be a fan of somebody and then go to like speaking to them casually. So it's very, it's a very weird feeling. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Thank you. Beautiful. Give a round of applause to our wonderful question askers. Well, I'm going to come up to three and four, then I'm going to ask a few questions as well. Three, let's hear from you. Hi, my name's Emily. Happy birthday. Thank you. If you could play any ro role in any movie or TV show, what would you be? I think I would love to be Susan from Narnia. Um, she's really cool, and I love archery, and I love Narnia, so. Um, I want to be on Succession. <laughs> Any in, in of the horrible Roy children. <laughs> so for me, it's not a TV show, but I, I have always wanted to be Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't ha I don't have the scar yet. You can do it now. Do it. No, no. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be Harry Potter, though, bro? Who doesn't want to be Harry Potter? Legendary. Love that. Love that. Well, seeing as we have our very own Harry Potter, yes, a wizard of some kind, Victor, if you don't know, is actually a professional magician. Would you like to see a trick? Yes! They didn't sound, like, convinced. I wasn't going to. I was going to say no. I can't. Do you want to see a trick? Yes! Now I'm scared. There we go, brother. <laughs> do you want to do it now? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try with somebody from the audience. Can I try that? You're whatever. Uh, people usually think that I choose people from the audience, so I'm going to do something to choose a random person. Are you agreeing with that? So whoever catches the hat gets to do the trick. Aww. Oh. I was lucky. He was going <laughs> to Did I hit you? <laughs> yes. Where there's a blame, What's your a name? Claim. What's your name? What? Monty, okay. Monty, have you ever traveled back in time? No. But you, you know from the movies that when they travel back in time, they usually say you shouldn't change anything in the past because you change the future too. But honestly, if you would travel back in time, would you change anything about it, about your life? Okay. <laughs> I was expecting a no, but <laughs> what would you change? Not meeting my ex, I know, but something else. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting hit by your hat. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> so, okay, let's make it easy for you. Uh, would you allow me now to, to make an experience for you to travel back in time? Okay. Uh, we don't have the time to do that, but we can go like a couple of minutes, right? So, can you tell me a number, like a digit from one to nine? Nine? Are, are, you, are you completely sure? Okay. Uh, can we have the camera right here? And can you hold up the phone, please? Okay. Thank you. So everybody can see it. If you look at the time now, right? You, ha you said nine? You sure? Okay. So it's like one, two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now it's 1703. I, I know it looks like a trick on the app, but if everyone in the room looks at their phone, your phones got back in time with nine minutes too. <laughs> even the normal watches on the wrist. What? <laughs> you can even call somebody from home and ask them, what's the time? And if anything happens, it's his fault. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Give it up for Victor. I'll get your hat back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, sir. mate. Did you like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. That was awesome. <laughs> Let's go up to three and get a question from three. Hello. Hello, three. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, Is there anyone on three? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to move to four in five, four, um, two. <gasps> Let's shoot to four while we wait for three. We'll come back to you. Hi, my name's Darcy. Um, my question is, what was the hardest scene to film? What was the hardest scene to film? For me, it was the scene where things got resurrected. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling anything. 
But uh, that was a hard scene for me because I didn't know how to stay there. Like, Jenna was next to the table, Fester was right next to, he, to her, and I was like, okay, where should I stay? Under the table with my hand <laughs> twisted like that, not trying to move, and acting like I'm, I'm reviving. <laughs> That was the hardest scene for me, and also I didn't know what to do. I didn't have a script for that, so I just had to improvise. And thanks to Jenna, uh, I, I just looked at her, at her eyes, and she just transmitted to me to do the pinky promise. So <laughs> that was very hard for me. Oh, love that. Love that answer. And before we come on to our other two guests, I've just got to acknowledge right now that you're the only person in the entire world that has made me cry over a hand. <laughs> so please, <laughs> can we have a round of applause for things death scene? Oh, my God, man. Some people say it, it was the best hand job ever. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, yeah, I know. It's a job, not... Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, please All the take parents over. leaving please with their children. <laughs> the hardest scene you had to film. Let's see. Ready? The, the Raven. Raven. Oh, dance. yes. It was, it was so corny. I'm sorry. It's, it was just, it was in the middle of Romanian winter, and the blood rain was just cold water, and we had to do it like five times. It was not very fun. Your contact turned red. My, yeah, I had contacts in, and they had told me to take them out before, but I forgot. And then when I looked at myself in the mirror afterwards, my eyes were... Red and I had gone up to Tim to say something, and he turns to me and he goes, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you okay?" <laughs> yeah. How was Tim to work with? He's an absolutely legendary director. He is so fun. Yeah. Like, just a goofy, fun dude. Yeah, he seems really yeah. kooky, really cool, and he has given us some of the most amazing films over the years. If you guys could. Cast yourselves into any of Tim Burton's classic films. It'll just <laughs> Don't say it two more times. Don't say it two more times. Uh. So Victor's, Victor's gonna, gonna jump into Michael Keaton's shoes. How about you guys? What would you like to, what would you like to have portrayed? I wanna be in one of his, his versions of the Batman film. <sighs> yeah. Joker? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Tim Burton's Joker. Yes, brother, yes. Emma, what are you saying? I love claymation, so maybe like Corpse Bride or Oh, you know, Frank and Weenie, something like that, yeah. Yeah, love that yeah. answer. Love that. Well done. Excellent. We're going to come to, well, we were at three before and we couldn't hear you, so let's try three again. Um, hi, my name's Isla, um, and my question is, if you could play any superhero, who would you play? Okay, you might not be able to hear us. I think we're having an audio issue with three. Isla has asked you if you could play any superhero, who would it be? The Goofy Deadpool? You play it to a T, man. Yeah, You'd yeah. rock that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh. Deadpool. Yeah. He'd be all in. Yeah. What are you guys saying? Uh, Spider Gwen, <laughs> probably. Oh, you'd, you'd be really so fun. good. I've seen people edit me as her, which is pretty cool, because <laughs> Spider Gwen's cool. Yeah. Um, I loved the X-Men growing up, so I'd love to be anything in that. Universe. Anything in that. Yeah. Rocking the Wolverine with our very own Deadpool. Yes. Yes, we'll rebrand it. We're going to come to... Uh, can we have a round of applause, please, for our questions? This is what we do. We are all here to share the love. We're going to come to microphone number one. We're live streaming all the way around the world, I see right now. Hello. Do you want to give us your name? Mia. Hi, Mia. Big waves for Mia, everybody. Wave it up for Mia. Right, Mia, tell us a question. What was your favorite scene to film? What was your favorite scene to film? So we had the, the, the one that was the hardest. What was your most favorite? So it's actually a scene that didn't even get in the final edit. Uh, I can't say it too much, but it was a scene with a rat. Oh. Yeah, so I had to play with a rat who was shitting on my hand, <laughs> who was dancing on my hand. And we got the scene like in the first take, but Tim Burton just shot it about 20 times just for fun. <laughs> Just yeah. for the added yeah, pieces. Yeah. <laughs> <That one. laughs> what about you guys? Uh, for me, it was the police station scene when I finally got to turn into like evil Tyler. That was the most fun. You were fantastic in it. Thank you. Um, I would say I really love the scene where Georgie and I are in the um, taxidermy shop in episode three. That was so much fun to film. 
You are rocking these answers, guys. You're listening. Like, boom. Round of applause for our question. Look there. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> We're going to head over to two. Hi. Hi. Um, can I just thank you all for being so kind today, though, <laughs> please? And um, my question's for Victor. You did such an incredible job with Thing. Like, how did you bring so much personality to your hand? <laughs> What's your name, young lady? Ebony. 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 That's a great question. Ebony, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> really know. Like, we tried to find ways to, to let him talk, like, through body language, but we didn't have a body. <laughs> we tried to do ASL, but we couldn't because we only had one hand. So we just improvised, really. So Tim just found ways to do it. The VFX team just found ways to do it. But the, the fact that I managed to give so much character to Thing, I, I, I think they don't know, but usually I was using them to, to guide me. I was looking at them, not on my hand. I was just ignoring my hand. My hand was acting like on its own. I was looking at them and trying to react, improvising at the, what they did. So. Whatever you saw, it was good in a dialogue with Thing. It was because of them. <laughs> I'm not a professional actor. I'm just a magician, but I, I tried. <laughs> and he you did a bloody it. good job, didn't he? Uh. That hand had a heart, and we loved it. We loved it. Thank you, Evelyn. What an amazing Thank question. You. Round of applause for our questions. Uh, we're going to go up to four. We're going to go up to four. Hi, say your name, guys. Hi, my name's Keely, and my question is, how did you react when you found out you got that part? Oh, Keely's asking, how did you guys react when you found out that you got the part in Wednesday? Now, Victor's just laughed, which means it's either A, going to be really funny, or B, really, really dirty. Let's see. <laughs> uh, when they called me about it, I, I just broke the window at my apartment, <laughs> and I jumped out the window. In the first place, I, I reacted like, you, you really mean it? And that lady on the phone was like, I can't hear you screaming. And I was like, OK, I broke the window, like literally broke it, and went off the window. And everyone in, everyone in the neighborhood knew about it. <laughs> yeah. I bet they did, definitely. I, I don't know if they knew I got a role. I, I, maybe they called the police or something. But <laughs> what was wrong with the door? <laughs> the, the, the window was closer. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, I freaked out as well. I had missed like five calls from my agent and I was somewhere where I didn't have good service. It had been raining, so I ran outside. I was only wearing my socks. So I was like in the mud and finally got service and basically it was like jumping up and down in the mud when I found out. That was like a slow motion video in my head. That was like <laughs> Ever. I was just at home and I got a call that I got it and I screamed very loudly and then my sisters found out and they started screaming and then we were all screaming and yeah, it was just a happy time. Yeah! <laughs> Amazing, love these questions. Give them a massive round of applause. Well done for, for you, Keely, well done. We're gonna come down to one. Hi, I'm Summer and um, my question is, who was your favorite person to work with on Wednesday? Ooh, who was your favorite person to work with on Wednesday, and why was it the person sat next to you? I mean, I was already going to say Hunter, but I didn't have very many scenes with him, so the scenes that I did get with Hunter were really fun, because he's very talented, and he's funny. You're talented and funny. I know. I love shooting the Gates Mansion stuff with you and Jenna. That was so fun. Thank you. <laughs> like I will say Enid, because she was the one who tried to teach me how to cry. Because I was fascinated about, <laughs> yeah, That's about how the fact that, that they cry like in a second. And I was like, how do you do that? And I asked everybody to teach me how, and she was the only one trying to teach me <laughs> in a I tent. I thought about that. Yeah. You, t you taught me to look at the light and just think of things. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. If anybody needs to learn how to cry, I've got yeah. techniques. <laughs> You're going to teach everyone how to cry right now? <laughs> uh, just Let's cry together. Any, any really bright light and hold your breath. I don't know why, but it works. I'm just texting Jenna Ortega and telling her that <laughs> nobody said her. Well done on the question. Well done, Summer. Excellent job. Can we have a round of applause, please? Thank you. You guys are whipping up today. Up to number three. Um, hi, I'm Ruby, and my question is, because Jenna had to play like a really serious role, were there any times where you tried to like make a break character and it was really funny? Oh, that was good. Did you get that? So Ruby asks, with Jenna having such a serious role, 
Was there any time that you tried to get her to break character and crack? Yeah, but she's really hard to crack. Like, very hard. But there were a couple of times where we got her, and it was just, when she's gone, she's gone. So, yeah, we did, we definitely tried our best. Was it things that you said or things that you did? Or no, it would just be like an awkward silence, and then there'd be like some noise in the background, and she would break. <laughs> Over the stupidest thing. It wouldn't be anything funny we did. There you go. You're in. She got broke a couple of times. A round of applause, please. Yes, our very own Wednesday can be broken. We're going to shoot over to two. Hi. Uh, Hi. How are you? Good. Uh, What's your name? Max and Victor. As you were thing, was there any painful positions that you had to make? Painful positions. Painful as, like, you can't even imagine. I, I, had, a, I had a scene where... They wanted me to be in a bed, like in the mattress. Like, I mean, like, it was like a coffin to go into, and I had to stick my hand next to Jenna, who was under the bed. I was just afraid the bed wouldn't break and I would smash her. <laughs> but I was trying to hold that without moving the bed or the camera guy who was over, over the bed or Jenna who was under it. <laughs> so it was so painful for me, and my hand was literally numb, and Tim was... Keep say, he was keep saying like, uh, can you move like slower and more with more grace and stuff like that? And I was like, I can't even feel it. <laughs> <laughs> that I remember that was a very painful uh, situation. And uh, the other one was uh, in the prison cell, where not the cell, the the window, the the window of the prison, where I had to stay under Jenna. Jenna was holding her feet over me, like on me, and I had to to go like around the wall or something like I, I can't even describe but it's one of the most viewed pictures on my Instagram so if you go there you, you can see it that was painful too and it was very 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 cold there and uh, if anybody's yet to see it give them an Instagram plug uh, victor.dorobansu but it's very hard to pronounce you'll find it I'm sure you'll find it guys <laughs> yes excellent give them a round of applause great question mate great question well, we've got about 25 minutes, guys. We've got about 25 minutes with you, which means that we'll try and get as many as these questions in as we possibly can, but please don't be disheartened if we don't get to you. We're going to come to number one, please. Hi. Hi. My name is Darcy, and my question is, did any of you audition for a different role than what you got? Ooh. Do you wish you had a different role than what you had? Even though you three of you played them perfectly. There's nothing like buttering up the talent. Did you ask if we auditioned for different roles or wish we got them? You wish you got them. We wish we got them. Oh. Personally, I don't. I don't think. They were awesome, weren't they, Darcy? We're happy with who they were. Yeah, can we have a round of applause for Darcy's question? <laughs> Boom. Um. <laughs> yeah, you all yeah, no, all I, I, all I, like, I know. We all kind of shook our heads. I love Sorry. you. Sorry. <laughs> we're perfect as we are. Thank you. Uh, we'll come to Sue. Hi. Uh, hi. Um, my name is Morgan. I'm from France, and uh, I had the opportunity to meet uh, Tim Burton when he received his award at the Prix Lumière, and uh, it was very nice. It was super interesting to see him so nice, and I was wondering what it was like to to shoot with him and be with him and live with him, and uh, how it feels uh, for you because it's such a, a legend. Uh, yeah, to work with Tim was amazing. I mean, like you, I mean, we were all just such fans of him, and it's, um, you know, when you work with someone that you're such a fan of, who's such an icon, like you trust anything he says, and so that was kind of a unique experience to have so much trust in someone and just, like, let him guide us through that. It was amazing. It was my first uh, experience with a director. I wasn't an actor before, so... From my point of view, he was the best director I could get because he would just let me do anything I want with my character. He would just like, do you think it looks good? I was like, no. Okay, do something else. He was like, he would, would give you a lot of freedom. I don't know how it was with you. My character was, was weird, though. I didn't have lines or stuff like that. But, and also, he's so warm-hearted. He doesn't show it, like, in your face, but you can feel that. You really can. And you're like one big happy family, I guess, by the, by the looks and everything that we've read. Do you guys have a WhatsApp group? 
We yeah. have. Double Who <laughs> sends the most inappropriate messages? <coughs> Maybe Oliver. <laughs> Oliver does. I was going to say, we can't give away our secrets. Oh, and you're just like, Oliver. Sorry, I'm putting him on blast. <laughs> Oliver plays Kent, one of the sirens. Uh, and his text messages are very hilarious. Oh, okay. So next time you're watching Wednesday, take a little peek out of the sirens and go, you are filthy. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Give a round of applause. Thank you for coming from France. Hope you're enjoying it here with us in Liverpool. Yeah, very much. Excellent. We're going to take it up to three. Hello, my name's Lucy, and my question is, who's your favorite Wednesday character except from your character and why? Okay, okay. So Lucy asks, who is your favorite Wednesday character apart from your own? Eugene. Eugene. I loved working with Musa. He's so funny, and I think he brought a really good personality to Eugene, so I'd say him. Thing. I love Thing. It made me cry, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say him. <laughs> Do you owe him money? <laughs> okay, you burn him up right now. The moment he burst, like, in the police station, the moment I saw his face changing, I was like, the fuck is he doing? Like, <laughs> He was so good at it. Sorry for that. <laughs> he was so good at it. I wasn't expecting that to happen. And fun fact, I didn't uh, read the script when I was shooting. I didn't know this guy is the monster. Oh, no, did. I didn't. I, uh, no, no. I thought Georgie was, was the monster. <laughs> was no. that a secret? Was, was it something uh, you guys had to keep in from your friends and family? Because it's like a big reveal. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I just, I, I wasn't on set when he was acting for the monster. Like, I didn't know. All kept back yeah. in. Oh, I, I was betting with my friends who the monster is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Hunter's there taking in as many bets as he <laughs> can. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Give a round of applause for a wonderful question. Excellent. We're going to move over to four. Microphone four. Hello. Hi. My name is Lily May. And I'm Ruby. You may get asked this a lot, and it's quite a hard question. But we want to be actresses when we're older. So do you have any like tips for us, maybe? Wow, they did that in sync. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're already good at learning your lines, so that's good. <laughs> uh, I'd say even if it feels like you're not progressing or you're not booking anything or, you know, it's just not looking good, just don't give up on it because, you know, the next thing you audition for could be the thing that you get. And I'd also say find people who support you doing it. I'm not the best one to give advice for acting. <laughs> If you want to act with a hand, I can tell you. But my only advice is like, don't, don't give up because all the, all the failures that you get is just the, the traces that lead to the road of success. So anything you do, just don't stop. Keep going, girls. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. That was like Enid and Wednesday together. Love it. Let's go down to two. Hi. Hello, my name is Roxanne. I'm French too. It uh, was my sister. And I have a question. Uh, you have been waiting for so much success for this uh, series. And um, Victor, has you made the uh, one to become an actor after this? Would you like to become a full time actor after this? People see me now as a creature performer, but yes, I would do that. I think so. I, I would go all in on anything, like any, any proposal like that. And yes, I didn't expect this show to go this far. I, I, I was like, I know it's awesome. I know everybody will want to watch it. But I wasn't expecting such a big hit. Yeah. And I bet the producers didn't. Nobody expected such a big hit. No. no. <laughs> but I bet they're happy that it was. Because we're happy yeah. that it was such a big deal, aren't we? It was incredible. <laughs> well, it's what these guys and, and me, I've been watching. But what have you guys been watching? What's your favorite thing to be flicking through Netflix and hit play on? Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Ooh. No fighting. I most recently watched the uh, new season of Shadow and Bone. And that was really, <laughs> that was really good. I liked it. Uh, not to bring up Succession again. I love that show. Uh, Drag Race. I'm a couple episodes behind now. <laughs> we got any Drag Race fans in? Thought we would. Welcome to Liverpool. Yes, rock and roll. Excellent. Love that, guys. Uh, we're going to move on to number one. Hi, my name is Theo, and if you could switch with any other character, who would it be and why? If you could switch with any of the characters. Ooh, I think we had that a little bit earlier on, didn't we, guys? If you could switch with any of the characters. But I think you were all happy with who you were. 
So a wonderful question. We'll have a round of applause for the wonderful question. But they are so happy with who they are because they're truly amazing. We're going to head up to three. Hi, my name's Eliza. Thank you so much for all coming here. Um, did you steal anything costume or prop wise or was there something that you wanted to steal but you didn't? <laughs> so basically Eliza wants to know, are you currently dressed as the headmistress? Oh yeah, amazing. That's amazing. So, so basically, your headmistress wants to know if you are thieves. Yes, because you'll get a detention if so. <laughs> it's it's like five finger discount, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> I stole <coughs> a lot of stuff, <laughs> but small stuff. Like I have a wrist from thing, I have a, a finger from a body. Um, I have a small, you know the small bugs? body? <laughs> Do you know the small bugs from your room? Well, from the, from the dormitory. You took that? I didn't took it. I just found it in, a, in my bag. Somebody wanted, <laughs> I swear. Yeah, somebody yeah, want, no, no, no. yeah. Somebody wanted to place it somewhere else. And I had like a blue bag with heaters inside for the winter time. So I could keep things safe. So, so I just found it there. And I was like, I'm taking this home. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. And, a and a candle from the from the ravens. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty big horde, mate. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, about I, I was gonna, but there was nothing left. <laughs> 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 uh, that's a great answer. Uh, Jenna stole a uh, stuffed dragon above Enid's bed for me because I forgot to get him. So yeah, she showed up at the airport with him. <laughs> that's cute. That's friendship. Love that. Round of applause for our wonderful question. And beware, she's giving out detentions willy-nilly today. Excellent job. Number four, hi. Hi, you're right. Um, my name's Tommy and this is Bethany. Uh, she has a question. Um, for all the cast, do you think Enid and Wednesday would, do you think they, you ship them together, basically? Oh. Would we want them oh. together? Yeah. Do we ship them? Yeah. I feel like the whole cast does. Yeah. We ship I them. I, I, I get them telling me this all the time. <laughs> I, I, was that everything? We're all good? Um, and one from me. Can Do you think, if you ever had to have a friend off of a different movie, who do you think it would be? If, you, if your character from Wednesday had a friend from a different movie, who would it be? Okay, yeah. So if your character had a friend that was in a different movie, a character from a different movie that you'd bring over to Wednesday to be your bestie, who would it be? Oh, you're going deep on these questions? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think I know the one. People say, you, everyone watched Game of Thrones, right? Okay. Uh, you know the Lannister that had his hand cut off, right? <laughs> He's my other half. <laughs> I feel like Tyler and Vecna have a few things in common. <laughs> I can't even think of one person. Oh my goodness. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea where that came from, Victor, but yeah, we'll go with that. Amazing. I can Look. see Hannah Montana dancing with Enid in the room. <laughs> <laughs> they would. They would be. Yeah. They would be besties, yeah. They'd, they'd probably be lucky figures. Love it. Excellent. Well done on your question. Thank well you. done, well done. Give them a round of applause. Fantastic. <laughs> you guys are reeling these off. Number two, what are we saying? Um, I just want to say happy birthday to Emma tomorrow. And Thank my you. name is Andrew. I'm from Glasgow. And my question is, now you guys have got experience in horror, if you could be in any of our horror franchise, TV or film, what would it be and why? So if you could be in any other franchise, what would it be and why? Maybe anything that like Guillermo del Toro does. Because his horror is, I don't know, it's like a different feel. I really like his stuff, so maybe anything that he directs. I love the Scream movies, but I feel like my shot of being in them is really low, th since Jenna is the star of them. <laughs> is it just about horror films? The question? Okay. Um... I would go in any horror movie just to tell anybody, like, why would you go in that basement if you hear something in there? Like, <laughs> I want to be there to ruin everything, you know, in any movie. But I would go for it. I would love to meet it in real life, like a real it, yeah. You'd like to meet yeah, a real Pennywise yeah, yeah, in yeah, real yeah, life. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Yeah. 
that you I don't know why. Tim but Burton has changed you. <laughs> well done. A wonderful question. I hope that answered all your dreams, good sir. Beautiful. We're going to slide over to one. We have got 12 minutes left, guys. So we're going to try and get in as many as we can. However, if you're looking down the, uh, down the line and uh, thinking you probably won't get to us, unfortunately, we might not. Please don't be disheartened. It's actually 12, 46, 45. 40, it's not 12. Shall we wait till we get to 12? Yeah. yeah well, just. Number one, <laughs> let's start to you. Hi, my name is Daisy, and my question is, would you... Um, who is the weirdest on the set and why? Who is the weirdest on the set? And why is it Victor? <laughs> Don't steal my answer. They called me the blue fat ninja <laughs> because of the suit and the fat. I'm betting on me, I don't know. Depends on what you mean when you say weird. Weird looking or weirdly weird Weirdly amazing, I think Daisy was going yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause for a wonderful question. Up to three. Hi, guys, at three. Hi, I'm Layla, and I was just wondering, what's the funniest thing that's ever happened on set? What is the funny... Oh, we had some good funny things earlier on, didn't we, with the pranks? Was there any other funny things that you remember happening on set? Emma's got a little sly grin on her face right now, thinking, I have. Should I tell them? There are a lot of funny things that happen, but I'm trying to recall a specific... You're trying to find an appropriate memory? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you have a better one. <laughs> I don't know, why am I blinking on this question? <laughs> I swear we had a good time and we're laughing. <laughs> we had a great time. <laughs> there are so many that I, I can't even tell. Like, there's some, some funny stuff that I recall that didn't happen on set. <laughs> I just, I think of the golf cart every time, so. It all comes back golf to the cart. golf cart. It all comes back to the golf cart. The golf cart was, was amazingly funny. Give them a massive round of applause. Yeah. For a wonderful question. Shooting over to four. Hi. Hi, my name is Georgina, and my question is, what's your favorite line in Wednesday? What is your favorite line in Wednesday? <coughs> there we go. Victor's Snood, done. silly. <laughs> That's good. You made it in your signature colors. <laughs> um, to lose. <laughs> to lose. Very good. Round of applause for a wonderful question. What's your question. favorite line? <laughs> Did, <laughs> did you hear what Victor did? We'll, we'll come back to Victor's line right now. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Wow. I'm, I'm loving the cosplay. How many cosplay items have you seen? How many people dressed a up in Quite a, a Wednesday? Lot. Time? Quite a yeah? lot. What do you think? Impressed? Yeah. Oh, my God. So many good Wednesdays. I love the weems. You asked a question. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, yeah, awesome. Let's take a look at one of our Wednesdays over here. Yeah. It's got a very own thing. Hi. Give us your name. Hey, all right, loves. Uh, my name's Tasha. Um, uh, oh God. Um, so obviously, the Adams family was a, a very iconic IP, especially for us '90s goths. You know, it made us finally feel like we belonged somewhere. Um, how did you guys feel taking on that IP and knowing you're going to be judged by goths like nationwide everywhere, <laughs> and how that was going to go down? <laughs> no pressure whatsoever. Oh yeah, no, no, not at all. <laughs> did you embrace the darkness? <laughs> it, it was. Well, it's kind of fun for us because our characters weren't in the other ones. I'm sure Jenna and the rest of the Adams family felt that pressure more so. Oh, I guess you did. <laughs> I, I had a big pressure on me because uh, the actor who played Thing uh, in, in the other movie, um, Christopher Hart, <laughs> is he's still alive and he was my competition. Like, But I, I tried to learn everything I could find with him on the internet. And I couldn't find anything. Like, it was just one interview on YouTube. And I was like, how can I learn what he did? And I tried to make it better and then realized that I can't do that. Like, I, I have to own that the fact that he was the best thing he could ever be because the industry back then wasn't using too much VFX. And he did all the things that I did without VFX, which is crazy. So I had a lot of pressure on me. Everybody like who saw that movie and loved thing would judge me. Yeah. You had big gloves to fill, yep. but you absolutely smashed it, didn't he? Absolutely. Thank you so much for your question. Uh, nice one, cheers. Sliding over to one, hi. Hi, my name is Bella and my question is, how did Wednesday not blink? 
Oh, how did Jenna not blink? Well, Jenna and I used to do uh, staring karate tests for practice for her, um, but she's just really good at it. I don't know how she does it. She lasts for so long. She, she just can. I don't know how. She just can. She is just that mystical. She is uh, it just simply incredible. Yes, thank you so much for your question. Round of applause, please. We're going to go up to three. We've got seven minutes with you guys. Um, hi, my name's Imogen, and I was just wondering, what was your favorite costume or makeup piece? Well, that's not bad. What was your favorite costume? Victor, what was your favorite costume? <laughs> the blue one. Yep. <laughs> the, the second blue one. Yeah, I thought I had one that was smaller, and yeah, they had to fit it. Um, it was fun to get the prosthetics after Enid, you know, beat me up, <laughs> and I had to have all the scratches across my face. Prosthetics are not fun. It was fun for well, me. Well, the I scratches are fun, but I had like, I had to sit in a in a VFX chair for like three hours doing the half kind of transformed werewolf. And I couldn't see or hear anything, and it was dark outside, and that was miserable. But at the same time, it looked really good, so. <laughs> you smashed that werewolf. You rocked that werewolf, didn't she? How amazing <laughs> was Emma's portrayal of Enid the werewolf? Well, all the questions that you guys have asked have been relevant to season one. However, would you like to hear anything about season two? Would you like to tell us anything about season two? This is a world exclusive. We're all a part of right now. Yes, yeah, so the first person to die is. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. He stopped because he wasn't a person, so maybe it's Sting. Oh. No. There's your clickbait right there. Yeah, if I say anything, there's going to be like an army of Netflix people that come and like take me off the stage. So I can't say anything right now. <laughs> It has appeared on Netflix that there is a season two coming. So are we all good? Are we all in it? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Love it. But we are all eagerly anticipating season two, aren't we? We all lived season one. Um, give a massive round of applause for all our wonderful, wonderful questions. We've got five minutes left. We've got five minutes. Where are we going to go to? Guys, I want you to pick a number. Pick a number. Victor, you can pick a number. Zero. Uh, Zero. Two, two, two. I two. see a Wednesday there. Hi, my name's Amy. Hi, my name's Emily. Why would the Tyler have to be the monster? And if Tyler wasn't the monster, who would be the monster? <laughs> Why did Tyler have to be the monster? <laughs> I've never regretted playing this part until right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I think it should have been Emma. Yeah. I saw a bunch of theories that said that Enid was actually the hide, and that's why she couldn't wolf out. And I was like... Who would you want to be the monster? Like, cool. uh, Enid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you feel the love there, Hunter? Can you feel the love that these girls have for you? And the disdain that they have for Enid. <laughs> Give a round of applause. Well done, the girls. Hunter, I'm going to give you a chance to pick a number. Pick a number. Uh, four. Four. Um, hi, I'm Sophie. First, I want to say happy birthday for Emma tomorrow. Thank you. And also, how long did it take you to film season one? Eight months. Mm. Yeah. Eight months. Eight months in Romania, yeah. Cool. So season two is going to take a minute. Uh, one Sorry. Minute, one minute. Love it. And I guess there was a lot of training, though, that went into that. I understand there was yeah. a little werewolf training. Yeah, there was a lot of training. I was out there like a month early for prep, and it's stunt gym and learning how to row and, you know, parkour and backflips and kickboxing and all that. But it was, it was real fun. Because if anybody didn't know, Emma is a badass. Yes, she is. Excellent. Round of applause for our wonderful question. Emma, we're going to give you a shot to shout the final sh question. Uh, number three? Number three. Up at the back. Hi, my name is Gabby. Um, happy birthday for tomorrow. Thank and you. My question is, um, what was your favorite scene from behind the stage or one of your favorites or best ones? What was your favorite scene? Yeah, what, what was your favorite scene? I, did you guys answer from it? From behind the, the scenes? Yeah. Behind the scenes? Oh, like our favorite. Oh, right, be, uh, behind the scenes. So on your downtime, what did you guys get up to? <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah. I don't know. We played a lot of card games. Yeah, I liked doing the Raven because it was kind of the only time I got to hang out mm-hmm. with everybody. Most of the time I was alone in the coffee shop. <laughs> no, that was not supposed to get that reaction. Wow, wow. No, did you hear that they're like, no, oh, like, I buy a latte from him? <laughs> oh. I like being in the train station because someone was pushing me while I was laying on a bed. <laughs> and that was my job to run with the hand on the ground while someone was pushing me. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Give a round of applause for our wonderful questions. Well, we had two, four, and three, so I'll pick one to close it out with. Hi, my name's Emma. <laughs> I met you guys nice earlier. Name. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say, like, next week it's my friend's birthday. Would you be able to film a video wishing him happy birthday for me, please? please well, we can do that, that down at the tables. You can definitely arrange that down at the tables if that's all right. Okay, um, but what we can do, we're going to do something really, really special in a moment. Would each and every one of you like to be a part of the world's largest Wednesday selfie? <laughs> do you want to be a part of the world's largest Wednesday selfie? Good, then we're going to rock it up. We're going to rock it up. Have you enjoyed a magnificent panel? Is this the first time you guys have ever paneled together in Europe? For me, yeah. Yeah, for all of us together, yeah. Yeah. This is a world exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. We have been proud to present to you our cast of Wednesday. Make some noise. So, we'll get the, uh, get the camera all loaded up. There we go. Right, what we're going to invite you to do, ladies and gentlemen, if you can and if you are able, we're going to invite you to please be upstanding. Yes, we're loving some of your cosplay today, guys. Please make sure you head down and see all our wonderful cast of Wednesday down at their tables to get in all their photo opportunities and autographs. We want to make sure that you have the most sensational weekend here with us at Comic-Con Liverpool. Now, if you can, scooch in just a little bit. Just scooch in just a little bit. I'll grab my phone. We'll be ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a massive round of applause as they are walking out.